you all have waited so long but it's officially time i can give you guys our first home tour so it's gonna be the empty home tour um there's a few more trades that still have to come in and finish a few things up but for the most part it's completely done the cleaners just left so um we're gonna be moving in soon so i wanted to just to go ahead and take you through why it was empty so let's go ahead and head inside before we go inside i did want to mention this it's gonna um so it's gonna be coming in and landscaping but um we get to move in before that um just because the people that bought our house are ready to move in so i'll show you the outside in another video once it's all done so when we move in actually by the time we move in i think we will have sawed it's supposed to come in in the next couple days but just in case you're wondering that will happen but here is our front door and then Chase wanted to have, um, what is that called? Car siding brought in. There's our light. I've already got a doormat. I'm just waiting for like all the workers to finish and I have a wreath, but that'll be all in my decorate videos. But this is the entry way when you walk in. So we'll have a coat closet here. What you're gonna notice is this house is set up a lot like our current house. So we loved our current house. We just wanted the land and I found this floor plan and it was just a little bit bigger, but same concept. So it worked out perfect. Um, this light I am gonna switch out. We originally got it for the dining room and then I found something better for the dining room and I thought it would work in here and it will until I find something. I just, it's not a forever light. Um, Probably when I film the makeover in here, possibly, I should have a new light. If not, it'll just be in another video. But here are like my doors. Let's see if I can get them to shut so you guys can see them. I actually like that these are like solid panel glass. In the last house, we had a little more privacy because they had like wood bars here, but they were so much harder to keep clean just because you had to clean each square. So I love that it's just like this. I really don't need privacy for my family. I just needed doors so I could do voiceovers. So in here, I'm gonna do like my desk, my tall vacuum signs on one of these walls, um, the firewoods in here because this is where the fireplace is gonna go that's in our bedroom now and that will go in there but the cleaners were in here so you can tell they took them off the floors but this is the entryway this closet i already threw some ottomans in <laughs> for when we move i'm gonna either put the entry table right here or right here i'm probably thinking this wall so we don't have to mess with the front door but there's our entryway closet lots of storage and then I'll take you into our living room. So here is the living room. It turned out so well. So when I found this light, that's when I knew I had to change our dining room light because the other one was like more curvy and these were by the same brand. Um, so that's when we switched because when I saw this one, I was like, it's perfect. <laughs> and then the light I had planned in here, I put into our master bedroom, which you'll see later. Um, but here's the fireplace. Um, it was touch and go on the windows. I didn't know if I was going to be able to have black windows. <laughs> and then this fireplace um, there for a little bit. He didn't know if he was going to be able to do it. And so I'm so glad we got that. Um, and the plans, it stopped like right here. But we went ahead and took it all the way to the top. Um, we did a lot of white oak in this house. The floors aren't real wood, but we're super, super happy with them. And then we had enough floor left over that we went ahead and took it into that room there, which I'm glad. So when you're sitting here, you don't see carpet. The floor just keeps going. And then we added all these shelves. Our TV is going to be hung up there. Our same sectional is going to go in here. I have some chairs, a rug. Um, so I'm really excited to decorate this space in here. Now let's talk kitchen because in my home update videos, you guys know um, they put in the wrong backsplash. I tried to make it work. I finally was like, I can't do it. Um, so we took it out and he went to get the stuff we were supposed to have and they didn't have it anymore. And so they had it, um, but they only had it in the square and not the rectangle, which I had been eyeing this anyway. Um, and so it all worked out. Like I love it. It was one of those, like it was meant to be, so I'm so glad the way it worked out. Um, 
and you'll see there's some purple stickers around. That's where some workers still have to come in and fix a few things. Um, last minute, I changed our pendants. So I had three white and gold ones. They're sitting out in our building now. But when we came in here and I saw all the white, so we kept a lot of white oak, but in the kitchen, I wanted to add some white painted cabinets just to brighten up the space because there's a lot of wood. And once we start decorating, we're gonna have a wood table and we're gonna have black chairs and black bar stools. And so I wanted some white still. Um, but then I didn't want like white and gold up here. So last minute we scratched that and I just did two larger pendants and I am so incredibly happy with how that turned out. So a lot of the changes that we fixed turned out to be good. Some not so much, but for the most part, I'm just super happy. I will say um, we went ahead and decided to add in the pot filler. You guys know I don't cook a lot, but it'll just be nice to have. I'm excited to have like my oven over here and microwave. Um, I've never had like the drawers underneath my stove. So that'll be super nice for storage. And then another custom thing we added was this vacuum closet. You guys know I love my vacuums and then we put an outlet in it. So I can hang three vacuums in here and charge them and they're right here in my kitchen. So I don't have to go out to my garage or I don't have to storm anywhere. It's just like right here where I need them. And then we also have, let me step back, our pantries right here. So it's the same concept as our last pantry, but it is just a little bit deeper. So it's like this wall's pushed back a little more. <laughs> We have this to put on our light. One of these got scratched um, when they were unboxing it. So the company sent us a new one. So we gotta put that up. Um, what I added in here though, were the shelves right here for all of our small appliances. We added cubbies and I just measured out my largest cubby and made sure that would fit. And then the rest were all the same size. So I'm really excited <laughs> to get that all nice and organized, even my kitchen. I just feel like we're living in like chaos right now. Um, so it'll be super nice just getting in and getting organized. Um, one other custom thing we did is, I don't like when refrigerators um, stick out, but I didn't want like the counter depth fridge because we need a lot of space. So when we custom did our cabinets, I had them bring this wall out further than they normally do. So it feels like it's still built in. It feels like a counter depth, but it's not. So if you are remodeling or building and have the option to do that, I'm like sold on it. We also have our trash can drawer again which I'm super excited about. I didn't like miss it, but it is gonna be nice not having one like sticking out. We're gonna have lots of storage and I opted for a lot more drawers than cabinet space. So I hope I'm okay with that, we'll find out. <laughs> um, this is for like spices or whatever we need. This is for more like cooking utensils. So yeah, kitchen setup completely different. Like it looks like my last one, but the storage and like, like spacing of the items is gonna be completely different. So it'll be fun just getting a fresh start in here. Obviously I can't reach the top ones, so that will be like seasonal items and things I don't use a lot, but I am very, very, very happy with the way this space turned out. Now this is gonna be the way our family comes in the house the most. Like we're gonna come in from the garage. So I wanted like a mudroom area again. Um, and so I found this look on Pinterest and I loved it. So if you guys are like caught up in all my like home update videos, I had it like stuck up here on the wall so they would know what to do. Um, I've got bins for down here. So in the plans, it was supposed to be like this, but this was shifted down and then they had a closet right here. So you can see the store right here. There would have been like a coat closet. We didn't really need a coat closet here and in our front entry. So I opted for a pocket door and it actually goes into our master closet. So that way, um, when I have laundry, I can just take it across here into our laundry room. So that will serve us so much better than a closet. So when you're custom building or remodeling, just think of the way you run your household and do what works best for you. We also put in a pocket door here. I will say builders and workers do not love pocket doors. I had to fight really hard for all three of ours but I just love that we have them and then they can tuck away when I need them. So if I need this shut, I can. If I want it open, I can have it open, but then it's not like blocking a walkway or hitting a washer and dryer. They're just really easy in like small spaces. 
but while we're right here we can go ahead and head into I call it our laundry room a lot of people are calling it our utility room because there's more than laundry so our washer and dryer will go right here I have our storage this is where like my hang drying clothes are gonna go we made this perfect for our my roller laundry basket like I knew I was bringing it I knew I loved it so I made sure the cabinet makers made me a spot for it because right now it sets out in front of my washer and dryer and it's just always in the way so I wanted to just be able to tuck it if I ever get rid of it this would be really good for like um, like a dishwasher if I wanted one or like a dog space I could put a dog bed or food an ice machine I can use that several different ways so that's why we went ahead and did it so I'm gonna have all this extra storage in here and then on this side I added we're gonna be putting in a new fridge here we have it in our storage building we just haven't pulled it out yet and then an extra microwave so I'm not a girl that needs two ovens I'm a girl that needs two microwaves <laughs> when family comes in um, we just heat up a lot <laughs> and do stuff like that so it's gonna be really nice we have two microwaves and they're separate so we're not like tripping over each other and then in here we'll keep like all of our extra drinks basically right now we have an extra fridge in our garage so when people come over they can get all the drinks and anything they need it's gonna be so nice that it's like inside now they don't have to go through my dirty garage <laughs> to get a drink they can just come straight into here so I'm super excited about this space and just having extra storage um, we also did like a trash can in here as well and then just a sink I did just like an easy stainless sink in here so I don't have to use my nice one in the kitchen if I'm like cleaning paint brushes or anything like that I can just use this one in here so we've talked about my master closet we've talked about the laundry room or utility room so we also have like a powder bath right here for guests um, I love how it turned out we spent way more on the marble floor than I was ever expecting to but it looks beautiful I'm happy with it I'm loving the white oak I love all the black features I love the gold light we chose up there um, so I don't know what all I'm gonna do with like the space on the wall I don't know if we'll do wallpaper in here one day that is one project we've never tackled we've done so many things so many home updates never done wallpapers maybe we'll do it in this house maybe not but we do have this just so like if you're in the garage you can run in or if we have company there is a bathroom here for them so this is the bonus room right here it's gonna be like a movie room slash dance room just family hangout um, Chase did fine movie theater chairs I've got to get cleaned up to put in here we also added all these cabinets for storage for like DVDs and games and all that fun stuff not sure what I'm gonna do with this wall yet but I'll figure it out <laughs> the TV will be going up high um, and then we're probably gonna do this whole wall with mirrors I don't know if you can tell but it like pushes back like it's not even here so we could do um, mirrors over on that wall for Savannah so this will be one of the rooms I tackle last because I'm not 100% sure. But what we liked about this room is first off, it had its own powder bath. So if girls were hanging in here or watching TV or whatever, they have a bathroom. But then we had our builder add a door onto the outside because this takes you off into our patio. So then, let me see if I can get it open. We can get out to the pool. So if people are over here swimming, they don't have to go through the house and get all the floors wet. They don't have to spend 20 minutes drying off. They can just come right here, go to the bathroom, and then go back outside. So I'm super happy about this little area, and it's like the perfect size. This room's going to be our guest bedroom. Um, so it's pretty much going to look the same that our current one does now, but it's perfect. We'll have the bed. We did the outlets for the TV so we don't have to run them through the wall. Um, we've got the door right here we have notes because like the doors barely shut see that I'm like pulling with all my might um, since we added carpet it got a little tight it's supposed to open up like this super easy but this will be our guest bedroom closet which typically turns into like our dance closet <laughs> but um, we got a lot of nice storage in here so when you custom build you get to design everything so we got to choose all of this I added all these cubbies just so we had more storage for like shoes or anything so I think this will be it's a little cozy in here but I feel like for a guest bedroom it's fine it doesn't get used a lot other than by George and then this room connects to like a Jack and Jill and the other bedroom so we went ahead and put two sinks in here two mirrors 
And then I went ahead, let me turn this light on, and added a pocket door right here. So like when my sister and brother-in-law and daughter stay, I thought it would be nice like if dad's in there showering, the girls can still be out here getting ready. And I just felt like that would function better for guests. And then if you don't need it, you can just leave it open. So in here, the measurements all got off. So they thought this was just gonna be a stand up shower. So they actually made it too big. So we had to add this ledge here, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate it. I think it's gonna be nice for like, if you're gonna shave or if you need to set up there and like bathe somebody, if a baby comes over, you can have your shampoo. Someone mentioned like candles on there. So totally fine with that. I mean, we still have to get a shower curtain, but I'm happy with how that space turned out. Another change we did is they had a closet here. And if you can see, it was like a super narrow closet. And then the door would have been bumping this door. So I just took it out. We didn't need that much storage in here. Now, if we had like kids filling these spaces and they were sharing these rooms, we might need the storage. But like I said, this bathroom's not gonna get used often by guests. Probably Chase the most because this is his office right here. So if he's working in here all day, he'll probably use it the most right there. And then when company comes, we'll just keep this door shut and they can lock it and then he just won't even need to use it. So it can just be shut off and then they have an attached bath to their bedroom. Um, his closet is smaller just because it's just an office closet. We don't need a ton. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but like I said, it's just an office. So I'm just glad we have an office closet. And then out here we have like our linen closet, which typically turns into like our um, homeschool closet. I've never actually used a linen closet as a linen closet yet, just because we have Savannah and we always have like all her crafts and schooling and all of that fun stuff. I'm not gonna show Savannah's bedroom. I just want her to have her privacy and you'll probably never see this again, but this is her bathroom. She wanted a full shower. Um, she didn't want a glass door, so we're gonna get like white curtains to hang there, but she's got a lot of storage space here. She's also got some above the toilet. So she actually designed this whole space minus the white oak because <laughs> I wanted it to match the other bathrooms, but I feel like she did a really good job. The last room I haven't showed you is our master, but I already had to film the makeover because I needed to turn in a video. So I'm not gonna take you in there yet. I'll show you just clips right here of what it looked like before we decorated, but it's behind that door. That's gonna be the next video coming out. This is like a little hallway or walkway um, from when we come out of our bedroom. So I feel like this is where all my like get ready is gonna be and I can check my outfit before I leave if I'm not like going through my closet. But thank you guys so much for being here. If you hang tight, I'll probably show some clips of the outside if you wanna see the backyard. But thank you so much for being on this journey with me. It has been a wild ride. I could write a whole book on everything that went wrong <laughs> during this build, but I know some of that's a very standard and typical and some of it wasn't at all, but I'm just so thankful we're finally in here. We're finally getting to move in. So thanks for sticking with me. If you like decorating and makeover videos, definitely make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna have so many coming your way. The first like 10 days that we move in, I'm gonna be nothing but filming and getting those ready for you. And then I'm gonna space them out through the next couple months. Um, so like I said, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So like I mentioned, I'd go ahead and show you some clips out here. It turned out really well. Um, Savvy's actually been swimming over here a lot. So we have chairs and stuff and they came in power wash today. So you can tell they just put them right, but right by the pool. I'm going to have to move those in because if we get any wind here in Oklahoma, which we will, <laughs> they'll be in the pool. And then they've also started for our fence. You can see it all around here. So we are so dang close and I'm just so excited to start pumping out all these videos for you guys, but we are super happy now. Thank you guys just for sticking with me. I feel like you guys were so good keeping me motivated and your husbands were helping me through it because they're like in the industry. So everything, just all the encouraging words and everything was truly so needed and I'm just so thankful for them. So here's to many, many, many years and videos in this house.